This week in my life as a newly qualified actuary, I head into London twice. I crunch some numbers at work. I try specialty coffee in the city. I frame my qualification certificate. I go on a date. I reunite with my Thailand travel buddies. And I even squeeze in some ice skating and family time over the bank holiday. It's a good one. Okay, so... I'm in the office. Welcome to the ladies' locker room through the maze of the basement. I like it in here because we've got a hair dryer, we've got straighteners if I need them, so there is no need to ever have a bad hair day. Okay, she is all changed. Outfit of the day is a little floral blouse number, my beige trousers, and my loafers that have been with me since my 2019 internship. Cost per wear is looking pretty low on those things. quite a technical analysis day so far giving one of my colleagues some feedback on her selections because I'm trying to train her up on a project that I've worked on for in the past few years and I'm quite enjoying it because last week was very heavy on the emails admin and I didn't get much time to do any numbers and spreadsheets. The task is to project ultimate losses for a branch of a huge reinsurance company so quite interesting business. It's obviously really big losses that they're reinsuring. Leaving the office, I am in the contractor's lift because they're fitting out some of the other floors in the building. At this stage of the day, I normally call my dad while I walk to the station. everyone so I'm back in my house for those of you who are new to the vlogs I live by myself so it's just me I've got my dinner I shoved some taco mince that I pre-prepared into the microwave it is under there somewhere I am so tired I've just got home collapsed onto my sofa which is pretty typical of my evenings at the moment and I'm watching friends I've just put Netflix on here it is Kids. Being called, excuse me. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So it is a work from home day. I am at my desk. I've just grabbed my breakfast to start off the day. It's a mixture of granola and raspberry Greek yogurt. I've got a meeting at 11 o'clock, which is actually quite an exciting one because it's an introduction to a new client. It's going to be a sort of fact finding meeting where we really get to understand their business. So that'll be interesting. Lots of meeting notes, lots of questions. Okay, let's get to work. Okay peeps, that's my client meeting over with. I've spent a bit of time tying up notes and jotting down stuff that I want to remember and not immediately forget. I have run out of Nescafe pods, which is a bit of a tragedy, but I've got cafe latte sachets, caramel. Okay, we have coffee, we've got a ginger cookie, and I wanted to show you guys my fridge because my magnet collection has really, really expanded in recent months. Every time I go and get food, I am reminded of my sabbatical travels. Such happy memories, you know, and it all feels like a fever dream. How crazy. I'm back working from home now. The ice is being cleaned after our lesson. That is an ice cleaner. Okay, so I've just come off the ice. I've packed up my skates as you do. I'm having a bit of a natter, a bit of a social time. And here's my skating friend Lydia. Go 
guys, I'm using new pans this evening. Is this adulthood getting excited about pots and pans? But I swear it's made so much difference. I literally ordered them last night. They arrived on Amazon Prime delivery today. I've got a full set. How very, very exciting. It's some sort of Cajun chicken and mashed potato dish. I've actually had some other deliveries today. I've had some command hooks arrive because I'm putting more stuff on my walls. And I had an ASOS order arrive. Stuff that I've convinced myself that I definitely need. It's not a want, but a need. And here is the finished product. I actually really like this one. It's very tasty. Guys, hello. At the risk of appearing boring, I'm spending another day working. What do you know? I'm looking at loss development curves. I'm looking at initial expected loss ratios. It's all sort of bread and butter actuarial reserving for property and casualty. And the really important thing for this review is the story and consistency with our prior selections. What has changed since our last review? What's the new information we have now versus last time? And how are we then reflecting that in our ultimate loss selections? Okay, you are now seeing just how messy my dressing table is, but don't judge. Life is a bit chaotic right now. I am going on a date this evening, a first date with someone I've messaged on Hinge, or actually more accurately, I've been voice noting them on Hinge, which I don't normally do. I will never initiate voice notes, but if someone voice notes me, then I feel pressured I guess to voice note back and so I've found myself in this voice note conversation with a guy on hinge and he actually seems really nice like really normal and funny has got a good sense of humor and so do you know what I'm gonna give it a go I'm gonna go along to this date open-minded so many of my friends actually have been getting into relationships in this past year there's something about this year in particular that has just caused everyone to fall in love with people and i'm actually so happy for them like i'm genuinely glad that my friends have found love i'm just concerned that i'm gonna have a life of third wheeling Ready. Here's me trying to look effortlessly casual but cool, chic, attractive. Who wouldn't want to date me? You know? Let's go. It is very dark right now. I apologize, but I'm just leaving the pub after my date. It lasted for about two and a half hours, which I think is a solid time for a first date. And yeah, he was a really, really nice guy had a nice time chatting to him. I feel like I left it on such an awkward note though. I never know how to wrap up a date. I think I said like three times, it was lovely meeting you. <laughs> good morning. As you can see, she's in the city. The day is off to a good start because I made my train. It is a little bit chilly this morning. The temperatures have dropped. I've got a coat and a jumper on today. This is UK summer, UK August. Here is the OOTD. This blouse is actually part of the ASOS order that I showed you guys the other day. First wear. It's a little bit crumpled, I'm not gonna lie, but hopefully it will drop out throughout the day. And I think it's cute with the brown Zara trousers. I have decided today to treat myself to some specialty coffee. I'm going to a coffee shop, Bill Outing. Okay, so coffee has been obtained from Rosslyn, which I read good reviews about online. I can confirm. It is good coffee. I need to do this more often. I do love my coffee and there's so many specialty coffee places in the city because the city does run on caffeine, basically. That's me 
be done for the day. Let's go, let's head home. Ground floor, doors opening. Okay guys, it is nearly eight o'clock. I am finally showered in my dressing gown, sat on my sofa, my food is in the microwave heating up and yeah. The reason I thought I was gonna vlog right now is because I've got updates, right? Or rather, lack of updates. Went on a date last night. The guy has not follow up messaged me. I've, I've literally heard nothing, radio silence since yesterday. And I'm normally a really good judge of how dates go. I thought it went well. I thought we got along. I've been humbled, guys. I have been humbled. And you might all be thinking, well, Paige, can't you message him? I know it works both ways. I just hate putting my neck on the line and putting myself out there. I really, really hate that. Friday morning, and I am heading in to Coffee Skate, which has moved to eight o'clock from 7.45. I was shocked when I was booking it last night. It's been 7.45 since forever and now everything has shifted 15 minutes later. It's just gonna cut into my coffee and chat time afterwards because I'm gonna have to rush off to work, but it's probably better for my sleep. Still, I managed to be late, even when it's moved 15 minutes later. It is past eight o'clock, <laughs> but let's go. Good evening, it's bank holiday weekend. Yeah, very happy. Logged off my computer eventually. To be fair, I didn't tidy up my last piece of work until probably about eight o'clock. But I'm really hungry. I haven't had a proper lunch because I didn't really have any bread in the fridge. So I just had a couple of packets of crisps, but I could do with some substantial food. So I popped a pizza in the oven, of course. I just did a delivery order of of, of co-op groceries. It's ultimate laziness and this is the first time I've done this in months and months and months and months. So that brings us to now. Waiting for my pizza to be ready. Look, look, he's doing it again, the guy with the telescope. Oh my God. Oh. It is time now for an unboxing. In this box is a certificate frame for my actuarial qualification. This feels very fitting to put in a, a weekly vlog week in the life of a recently qualified actuary. That's me. And here's the proof. And I'm gonna put a mount on it. I ordered two different colors because I wasn't too sure what was gonna be the most appropriate. Either ivory or off-white. Option one, ivory. Or option two, off-white. Which one do you guys prefer? Okay, everyone, here we have the frame certificate. My arm is not long enough to show you properly, but it's gonna go next to this one. <laughs> so, it's the first day of Frank Holiday weekend. I am in Essex today, actually. I am exploring a new part of the UK I've never been to before. This is Leon C. I'm out for lunch, and I've reunited with two familiar faces from Thailand. We have Ellie, and we have me, and some other guests as well. Guys, can you update the vlog on what you've been up to since... Uh... A lot of work. <laughs> yeah, just a lot of work. A lot of work. Nice. A lot of money and... Saving money. Saving money. Saving money. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna have a nice lunch. Alright, I'm back in my car. And I'm about to drive to my parents. If you haven't guessed already, I'm driving south today. So I've gone from Cambridge down to Essex. I'm in South End area. And then I'm heading down to the proper south coast now to Brighton sort of area where my parents live. It's telling me it's gonna take me an hour and 50 from here, which isn't all that bad. It's actually been really nice to break up the journey and it was so nice catching up with Neve and Ellie. Really weird seeing each other in the UK and not in Thailand because the last time I saw them was literally in Thailand. We did 
a month I think traveling around Thailand together on a true travels tour back in April May time a nice way to kick off the bank holiday weekend let's head and see my family now <laughs> and she's arrived back to the childhood bedroom I got back around six o'clock this evening I had a nice dinner with my family. My mum made lasagna. Anyway, I think I'm actually going to do some editing this evening. I brought my laptop home with me. And I have a travel wrap-up reflection video that I need to finish putting my video overlays on. It's a nice, sunny, beautiful day. And we're rollerblading. Because I accidentally brought my rollerblades home with me in my car. And we've got our parents and my auntie to help us not fall over. So really good we've got a little family outing going on bus is out with us yeah the terrain is good up here i haven't fallen over yet here's some of what i can do watch this so we're rounding off the week with a run this wasn't my idea i've got my running enthusiast sister lydia coming with me any words of advice lydia for, for me and for any budding runners watching this video. Watch out for traffic, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for traffic. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> nearly there. We're nearly at the end of 5K. Finish in a minute. I'm dying. Do we finish up here or we have to turn around? No, no, we have to go back. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, peeps, it is now. Monday, which means it's the end of a week in the life of a recently qualified actuary. So thank you very much for joining me this week. As you can see, I am still at my parents' house, but I'm going to leave shortly and pray, pray that I'm not gonna get stuck in loads of bank holiday traffic on my way back home. The new working week obviously starts tomorrow on a Tuesday, but at least it's only four days in the week, yeah? My mum's just making me a late lunch before I go, before I drive off back to Cambridge. I need to throw some stuff in my case. But yes, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel for more careers and actuary content. Follow my Instagram and my TikTok for even more content from me. And I will see you guys soon with another video. Bye.